All right, guys, what's going on? It's your boy, Mr. Cheap Sense here, bringing you my fragrance of the day. But before I do that, I must say to the people that I have packages out for, this one actually was supposed to got shipped out, I think, Friday. And the person that it was going to, uh, Henry, was doing a little grilling and I couldn't get in touch with him to get his address to ship. So it's all packaged up. This is um, Bora Bora that you was asking for. I wasn't able to pick up the one, uh, the brand new one. So I just, I'm just going to ship you mine. And then whenever it comes back, uh, I'll just pick me up another one. Uh, this one is a, a little over half full. So... It should be okay. I mean, it's a freebie. You didn't pay anything for it. So, it is what it is. And the two new trays that I got going on um, for the Boss Bottle, the Noir and the Michael Kors Extreme Night. Uh, I should be able to get them out tomorrow, all of these packages. Um, but we'll see what happens. And then the other... I said I was on the fence about these two, but I'm going to go ahead and just let them go. Uh, Derby Clubhouse Gold, Armoff's Aura, and this is supposed to be somewhat similar to Mont Blanc Legend with the pineapple note. And Aura is a clone of Invictus, and he also wanted the Perry Ellis Aqua. So those are the three packages that I'm got, I got going out. Now, with that being said, I think I'm going to start winding down on the trades uh, because I don't, I honestly feel like I'm trading away when it comes to these two, two of my better fragrances on the lower end side. Uh, I really don't want to trade these away, but it is what it is. I already promised these guys that I want I was going to do it, so I'm going to go ahead and do it. I'm not too concerned about the Boss Bottle because I have Jaguar Classic Gold, and it smells similar to Boss Bottle with the apple and cinnamon, that apple pie type smell. So uh, the Noir, I rarely have worn it. As you can see, it's still kind of full. The only time I really wear these is like when I was getting out of the shower, I would spray a little bit on. And I have worn Extreme Nights, but like I said, and he knows, he's seen the video, he knows that this doesn't last long on me. Now, it may perform well on him, so hopefully it'll work for him. I don't mind getting rid of this either. Uh, but the reason why I'm thinking about not doing any more trades is because it's costing me money. Every time I have to ship these fragrances out, it runs me depending on how. And these two that have the three fragrances in them, it's probably going to be $15 a piece. That's 30 bucks. So I may have to like ship one tomorrow and then wait till Friday. Um, this one is probably going to be the cheapest. It's going to probably run between $7 and $9 to ship this one because there's only one package in here. But um, the one with the three fragrances, the two with the three fragrances, it's going to probably run me about 15 bucks to ship them to. That's $30 that I really don't have. So I may do one tomorrow and um, I may have to wait till Friday to ship the other two. So... Just be patient with me, guys. Just know that I'm not rich just because I work two jobs. I do have child support. I got kids I have to take care of, whether they're here with me or they're not, in which I know my son was here. I still come out of my pocket, even though they take money out of my check every two weeks. Um, I still come out of my pocket and, you know, do things with my kids and for my kids So um, when I have it. So this may be the end of me doing trades. Now, if anybody wants to buy anything, then we can work that out. That will work out better. And I'm going to have to add shipping to that 
So whatever the base price is, we're gonna have to add shipping to it, which will be anywhere from like five, I mean uh seven to eight, nine, ten dollars. So it's gonna it's gonna add. So if you buy a twenty dollar fragrance uh, and it costs me like eight dollars to ship or seven dollars, just twenty seven, twenty eight dollars. I mean it's not bad considering most um fragrance websites do free shipping but it has to be over a certain amount so I may front the bill if you buy more than one fragrance and make it worth my time it's not worth my time to sell a, a $20 fragrance and it's gonna cost me like say eight nine or ten dollars to ship I'm not really making no money so it's not really worth it to me so um, after these three packages are going out, uh, guys, please keep in mind, I'm not wanting to do any more trades, only sales. I understand if you guys don't want to buy anything, you can buy it offline. That's fine with me. It's cool. Like I said, the rest of the stuff that I have that I really want to get rid of, I can just give away it to, you know, my stepdad or somebody it really doesn't matter but I, I don't really want to do any more trades because it's been cost me a lot of money the only sale that really was worth it to me was the guy who bought the hundred and fifty dollars worth of fragrances from me that was well worth it um, and I fronted that it only cost me like 15 I think it was 18 dollars 15 or 18 dollars to ship so out of a hundred and fifty dollars fifteen to eighteen dollars that's nothing so just keep that in mind guys um, fragrance I wore today is one of the ones that came in a couple of days ago and it is called mesmerize and I don't remember who or where this fragrance what this fragrance house is it just says mesmerize. Uh, I'm pretty sure if he sees this video, he'll remind me, but it'll be too little too late uh, unless I just post it in the comment section. But I like this fragrance. It's just, it almost has a slight barbershoppy type smell to it. Um, Coming out of the bottle, it smells nice. On my skin, that's all I was getting was like a slight barbershoppy type scent. It smells nice. Um, I just didn't get any compliments. There's nothing that was going to stand out. And I sprayed like hell. This thing was full. And I used probably about just under a half of it. And uh, it's okay. I'm not sure if this is one of those uh, Avon products because I, I think Avon has one that's called Mesmerized or Mesmerized with a D on the end. I'm not sure which one it is, but I know Avon has one because I have the book. And um, I don't know if this was one of them or not, but if it was, it smells nice. Uh, just not something I think I would pick up for myself. Now, like I said, don't quote me on this because this may not have been a an Avon product this may have been a different product but I know for a fact matter of fact let me see if I can find my book give me a second I got this from a lady that sells Avon here and I bought uh, a fragrance from her from back in the day that I used to wear. Uh, my cousin actually used to wear it and uh, I picked it up from her. Excuse me. Okay, right here. 
they have two different fragrances called Mesmerize. No D on the end. Uh, they have one called Mesmerize Black, which is an Eau de Toilette. And I actually wanted to pick this one up. It was $23, and it says it's a fruity, sweet fragrance. Pink peppercorn, nutmeg, and cedar. And it is $23, and it's the one here in the black bottle. And then the regular mesmerized cologne is in the blue. And it is actually a warm, spicy. It, it has bergamot, cardamom, and woody notes. So if this is that fragrance, then it's here and it's like $23 for either one. I do think I'm going to order the black one just to see what it's like because I'm interested in that one. I love sweet fragrances. Um, I could be wrong about this. This may not have anything to do with the fragrance I wore today. But despite the fact it's not my favorite and... I may end up giving this one away just because I don't plan on wearing it again. So thank you for letting me sample this one. Mesmerize. I appreciate it. And we have package. Yes. I didn't expect to get anything today. I love coming home and finding packages. And this one is from uh, Mr. Bagley. So let's bust this down and see what we got. I really need to get my knife back up here. The one I used to use to open these things. Make sure there ain't nothing in the bottom because last time I almost threw the medicine bottle that had some samples in it away. Luckily, my son found it. Okay, so we have what looks to be. says one million now I don't know what all this stuff is on the side look like he might have had something on his finger or something but you can see whatever that is I'll clean that off later but it says one million and it's not a full bottle it's a little less than halfway it's about right here so that's more than enough for me it says 1 million Paco Rabanne um, I was going to say Privé but Privé has the brown but I'm going to give this a shot let's see definitely the regular 1 million Yeah, I've sampled this before, uh, never bought it, and like I said, I had something that smells like one million, I can't remember what it was now, I talked about it the other day, but the good thing is now I have a, uh, the real deal one million, so I may wear this one tomorrow, or I might just pull out another one, I think I'm going to pull out another one of them. Uh, sample bottles because I want to wear something that's going to wow some people and I'm not a lot of people like this sweet stuff like when my co-worker wears Invictus women go stupid over that and I wore Invictus Intense and nobody really said anything to me and he wears Invictus Intense now and he like goes trigger happy and it's kind of loud but 
he gets compliments, but I think most of the time he gets compliments is because uh, women find him more attractive than they find me. He's more in shape than I am. I have a little bit of man boob. I have a little gut. He's more fit than I am. He has a slim stomach. He has a better build than me. Um, I don't know. They People say me and him look alike. And I always think, well, hell, if we look alike, why does he get all the attention? And I hardly get any. But it is what it is, man. So whatever compliments I do get throughout the day, I'm happy with. I'm content with. So uh, thank you, Mr. Bagley, for the one million. I'm going to wear it proudly. And once again, guys, keep in mind that I'm not wanting to really do any more trades Unless it's something that's worth the trade, something I've been either looking for or wanting to get or I'm interested in. I'm not interested in a, a whole bunch of, you know, swapping out cheapies for cheapies and stuff like that. I can put together, like I said, with the um, rest of the armoffs that I have, if you have something that's, you know, more costs more than what I'm offering, then I can offer up two, maybe three bottles of you know another couple of other fragrances maybe to try to get close to it or equal up to whatever it is you're offering but i don't want to do any more cheapy for cheapies i'm just i'm really trying to get away from having too many cheapies um like those twenty dollars and ten dollar fragrances i know this is what the channel is about and if i see some that i haven't had before then that's what i want to do get some more different stuff in and not keep getting more of the same old stuff. Like I don't want to have a bunch of fragrances that's going to smell like Perry Ellis Aqua over and over and over again. I don't want to have to have a bunch of fragrances that smell like Boss Bottled Intense. That's why I don't mind getting rid of this because I have the Jaguar Gold. So um, even with the 1 million, I have something that smelled like 1 million. And now that I have this, I can get rid of that. So, that's what I don't want to do is keep doing cheapy for cheapy trades. Um, I do want to get something that's a little bit better in quality. But if not, I understand, guys. There's always other people you can sell, uh, buy, or trade with. I'm not mad. That's just the way of the world. I, you know, if I'm going to make, if I'm going to sell some stuff, I need to be making money, not always breaking even or losing. And I don't want to keep doing trades because I'm not making any money. I'm losing money. I'm I'm going to have to spend, what, like 30, 37, probably close to 40 bucks just to ship these fragrances out. And for what? Just to swap fragrances out. I'm losing money. Just like you guys are losing money. You, you're shipping also. You're losing money. You may make more than me, but you know what I'm saying? Either way it goes, if you miss it or not, you're still losing money. So I understand. Anyways, I don't want to ramble on. Um, I do need to take me a little nap. So I'm out of here, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. Peace.